I mean, pitch five. It, <laughs> it was one of the biggest moments where I felt like quite the bumbly on that route. So pitch five, right leaning crack. Um, so I racked up all my gear, and I usually, just from when I started trad climbing, I used to always, you know, evenly put my gear on both sides. And so I was climbing up and just all my gear was on my right side and I was just stuck and couldn't quite get around. <laughs> I was like, these are one of those things that experienced trad climbers would know and put all of the gear on the other side so it's not like smashing against the wall. But got through anyway. Yeah. You do that really cruxy boulder on as you direct and then you do this relatively juggy roof, but it climbing out of that roof puts you above the entire valley. Like you can drop a stone off that point and it would fall all the way to the ground. You then climb about 15 metres of this beautiful yellow bottomless corner and although the climbing's not hard, it's just probably the most spectacular bit of climbing in Australia from a position point of view. Yeah. Like Australia's answer to like Pancake Flake or something? Yeah, but way better. <laughs> pancake Flake is jugs. <laughs> yeah, Pancake Flake is really easy. The other thing that I that I didn't have at the time was I didn't have anybody who who really wanted to go down and try it. That's uh, the so hardest part of it, isn't it? Getting someone to go down with you and to it's the, the you know it is the depths of the of the gorge there. It's a long way in. The hardest pitch is right, you know, one pitch off the deck. It's only twenty meters off the deck, and then you're into into the crux pitch. So to get it's not like going down a shipley and trying your project. You can weasel anybody.